Hope you don't mind the browser craft up there. I'm using MDX stack. Exciting. Yeah, so I'm Knut from, from Sanity. Uh, I run developer relations there. Um, Sanity is a platform for structured content. We are offering a lot of tooling to like work with content, uh, for example, for the Jam stack. And um, it lets you uh, customize it, uh, lets you customize editors, and deliver your content to any channel or product. You know the drill. So in practice, distributing content means to be able to transform complex JSON data easily. It means to be able to filter your documents so that you only get the documents you need. Um, and it, needs, uh, it means to be able to choose what fields you, you want when, when you are building your app or website. Um, and it also means that you should be able to like, join in documents when there are references between them. Um, so for example, um, you can get documents mentioning JavaScript in a title and uh, output only the title and the author uh, that is referenced from that document. So in a, to be able to do this with, with Sanity and the, the content store that we have, uh, we developed something uh, called Grok. It's a Krail language. It's kind of like SQL for JSON. And I know everyone is thinking about the GraphQL thing. I'll get back to that. <laughs> um, so we made this query language that makes it really easy to just query JSON documents without having any schemas or setting up resolvers or anything. If there are a JSON document there, you can query it, you can find it, you can choose which fields you need, and you can even make joins and do a lot of stuff. So here, for example, uh, the star is like just select all the documents that you, you have, uh, choose the documents that have JavaScript in a title, and do like a count of how many code blocks is in the rich text. And give me back the title, and give me back the array of authors, uh, and, and just their name, because that's the reference. And finally, just order them after the published date. So you could do this like in JavaScript, like, like sort of like this. I think it's actually working. Um, but it's kind of a chore, and it's never the part I look forward to do when I'm writing websites and stuff. Uh, so Grok has been pretty useful for us and for all our users. Millions of Grok queries are run every day to our backend. But it's still like, tied to our backend. We, we hear that from, from people that uh, our, this Grok is great, but it's tied to your backend. You have to like, use, use an online thing to, to use it. So what if you, you didn't need to do that? So this is pretty exciting news for all the Sanity users, and we hope that it's exciting news for all, all of you other people that doesn't use Sanity as well. We are normally open sourcing the, the Grok specification, uh, and writing a specification for query language is a lot of work. <laughs> I haven't sat for a week. Um, and more importantly, we are also giving you um, parsers for different programming languages, so you can like implement this in, in, in whatever. And uh, it has saved us a lot of time, this rock, and we hope that you will find it useful as well. And now I will do the scary thing, namely like do a live demo of create a language in uh, alpha CLI that we are publishing today as well. And this is where my nerves is getting up. Um, so. In Norway, we have, we have something called the wine monopoly. So there's only, only one chain of stores you can buy alcohol in. And for some reason, we decided to just scrape the whole site and make a, a, like a data dump of all the products. So locally in this folder, I have, um, I think I have like, oh, I messed that up, right? I think I have like, Yeah, some 80,000 lines of data containing all the catalog for the wine monopoly. So what if I could just query that for what I needed? Um, so I will fire up the, the Grok CLI, and I will say, 
I, wish, I just want the, the documents, which is actually a product. Oh, good on. Now you can see it, all right. That was the one thing I shouldn't like mess up. Yeah. <laughs> now you see it. So I have like 80,000 documents in this like dump, and uh, I just want the products, uh, and I want, I want some pretty printing, and this will probably melt my computer. Uh, I need to actually also choose the file, right? There's a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I, I'm now outputting the whole document, so now it spends time actually prettifying like 16,000 JSON documents. So let's not do that. <laughs> right, let's just, just cheat, right? This is going great, Knut. This was exactly what you planned for. Yeah, I have cheated a bit. So let's just run this then. Yeah, so let's choose the products. Let's go with all the products that has 2012 in the name and just return the name. And lo and behold, it works. <laughs> yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, with Sanity, you can also just, with one command, export your whole data set. So you just get all your documents like in, in an MD JSON file. Um, so we did that with Sanity.io. And I'm the developer relations guy, so I've written a lot of blog posts and documentation containing code examples. So for some reason, I just want to have the titles of the code like documents that has more than four code examples in them. So I run this query. I have a, like a count function that will return how many, how many documents has like more than four uh, blocks of the code type. And it works. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually almost surprised. Um, so you can do a lot of cool stuff. You can also pass in like um, if you have like random API, uh, I'm not sure I should do this actually. <laughs> um, so if you have like a random API, let's see if this actually is. So this is like a, just a random mock to do list rest thing. And I think this will work. <laughs> uh, so I just want to return the completed tasks in this one. Yeah. So th that's not pretty, but yeah, you get the gist. And you can go and you can select, uh, for example, the user ID. Just got that. Or this is the killer feature uh, that like makes this better than GraphQL. You can only if you just want the rest of the fields, you can just spat them out and then you get in. Yeah. You don't have to specify it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So there's a lot of more stuff that you can do with Grok. I, would, I, I won't show that to you now. Uh, but you can go here and find the specification. And if you follow our channels, with Twitter and blogs and stuff, you can find the other stuff as well. And do come to me afterwards and tell me the merits of GraphQL and and I will explain why both are great. <laughs> Thanks.